Hi guys, how's it going? It's Sam. Welcome to my channel. Um, as you can see by the title of this video, today we're going to be discussing agency courses um, in general and I'm going to be telling the story about how and when we spent nearly $10,000 on a get rich quick SMMA course, um, mentorship program, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we're going to go through the story about it, but what I'm also going to talk about today is I'm going to discuss some of the things that I've spent, invested on, or we have as a business, as a marketing agency that's helped us grow to multiple um, six figures and even seven figures. Um, and um, kind of talk about where the best ROIs were for me as a young entrepreneur, kind of getting into this scene, um, some of the things that I spent on, some of the people I invested in where that money is worth going. So if you're young and you've got a few thousand pounds to your name or even a few hundred pounds to your name, you want to invest in yourself, you want to improve your skill set, you want to develop some new skills, you want to create a better life for yourself, you know, I think investing in yourself when you don't have a huge amount of money to invest in property or investments or other businesses, I think investing in yourself makes complete sense and I'd be a hypocrite if I you know, recommended any other way of doing things because that's how I did it. That's how we got our start in our business. Before we get into it though, <clears throat> if you guys are new here, uh, about 60, 70% of my followers don't, um, sorry, 60, 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot more content here. My plan is to post at a minimum once per week. I've been a little bit slow on that recently, but I have a lot of content planned in the in the planning stages so subscribe subscribe if you're interested in business marketing facebook advertising google advertising um anything around that niche and you want to find out more about how to do it my, you know i have myself um and my business partner grown a social media social media marketing agency um to you know 50 plus clients here in the uk and um, I want to kind of share that knowledge that I've learned over the last five years with you guys on this channel. I do have a school community which you can join. You get access to live calls with myself. We do two per week. Um, there's a link in the description box if you want to join that as well. But otherwise, we're going to get straight into the video. So I'm going to give you guys a bit of a backstory. It's kind of like a longer, unedited, unedited style video today. Um, and I'm going to tell you the backstory, kind of how we ended up spending this money. So... We started our agency around 2018, 2019. I just graduated university. Or actually, I think I might have still been in the process of, you know, finishing my exams and such. But we essentially, I'd essentially just graduated from university. We had a few clients um, and we had actually got one big client, which was really good. And that had kind of given us a little bit of money and we put up a little bit of cash in the business. And we probably had about $10,000 in the business at this point. It was very early stages. Um, but we were like raring to get going. And I think one of the biggest things that we found was that we were just weren't where we wanted to be in terms of, you know, number of clients, revenue, um, performance, all, all of the normal feelings that everyone gets in the early stages of growing a marketing agency. Um, and we were probably susceptible to something like, you know, when the people are in that stage, you can be easily swooned, let's say. And, um, we wanted to, we didn't want to just make that money and then, lose it all and not really gain any momentum so we kind of were on the lookout for something and i will ex i will disclose who i bought the course from because i don't see why it's a problem um i believe the course is closed now and they're not taking any more clients but it was cat house um uh i think it was called let's have a look what it was called the academy the, the academy i think it was called the facebook ads academy um a cat how for those who don't know or who are new to this industry, she was a big kind of big name in the Facebook ad space back in maybe 2018, 2020. Um, she had ownership of the Facebook ad hacks Facebook group, which was one of one, if not the biggest Facebook group specifically around Facebook ads. Um, so I ended up getting on a call with her sales, one of our sales uh, members, one of our sales team. And uh, these are a lot of us, you know, typical sales tactic, but it was, it was pretty hardcore sales. You know, we were essentially um, kind of, I suppose, convinced to buy it. We were convinced that it was the best option for us. And it's essentially it essentially sold us on the dream. You know, it sold us on the dream of growing our agency. And there were no guarantees as such, but, you know, it kind of lent quite heavily into that direction. And, um, yeah, she had a lot of clout from the Facebook group. And that's one thing I've learned through this whole, whole experience is, like, having that social proof is massive. Like, it's really, to take $10,000 off people is, like, particularly difficult. But if you have all of that clout and that kind of background and you've, you know, 
just having a hundred thousand people or whatever it was at the time, maybe two hundred thousand people in a Facebook group, uh, kind of makes you seem like the expert in that field, which is some a big learning lesson for me, and it's one of the reasons that I kind of later on in life realized the importance of having an audience, right? When you want to sell a product, but got on the call with this guy, and um, essentially the course was ten thousand dollars. Got to the end of the course, and he said, "Look, it's ten thousand um, dollars." You know, it's kind of sold as you get loads of one-on-one help, support, stuff like this. Uh, and he did like a drop close on us. So that's where they say, for those who don't know, I hate this kind of thing. But basically said, look, if you d- decide by midnight, I will give you a, I think we got $1,500 off or something like that. So I think we paid $8,500 for this course anyway. So we did it. Um, and um, and we joined. We joined the program. And um, there was no one-on-one coaching really. Unless I've remembered incorrectly, there was no one-on-one coaching. It was group coaching. And the course material was essentially just, it was a kind of template. It was a template like you could supposedly like copy and paste into your agency to acquire clients. It was essentially like a paid ads template. Um, something that I've talked about like for free on this channel, like how to use Facebook ads or other paid channels to acquire clients, leads. You know, I've published free videos on this channel, pretty much of exactly what that course did. Um and the, there was group coaching calls like once or twice a week with essentially like 15 other people on the call. So you'd maybe get like five minutes of like one-on-one support and then it'd be on to the next person, which if you're paying, you know, if you if it was the course was a few hundred dollars, I'd completely understand. But for like 10K, I would have maybe expected a little bit more. But I want to talk briefly about, I feel like why I feel like it worked for us potentially. Um, you know, whether the course was... Um, a good course or or whether or effective is kind of irrelevant to what the experience I found with the course. Um, I think we were in a position where we were like really keen, eager to make it work. And because we'd invested so much, it was like not really an option for it not to pay off. Um, so we pretty much applied everything and like it got, gave us a starting point. It gave us a template to like for, for client acquisition. And we then took that and like times that by a thousand, like we were like testing so much more that was like than what was given in the course, but it gave us that first step. Um, and looking back, I think we probably could have gotten that nudge in the right direction for much less than ten thousand dollars or eight and a half thousand um, dollars. But it was a you know it, it's a um, an investment that I don't regret because I don't know if it'd be here if we hadn't have taken that first step and at least taken ourselves seriously enough to invest that much into ourselves. And luckily we. We did slowly over the next couple of years build momentum up and grow the business. But I can't dedicate. I can't say it was because of the course, but I can say that the the, the stress of spending that much on a course really makes you want to take anything you can from it and apply it to your own business. Um, the course I have checked the alumni group and there's about 725 people in there, which makes me think that they've made at least seven million dollars from this particular course. And I know that the Cat How had several other course, other avenue revenue streams, so she's probably done extremely well from this. Um, but I no longer have access to any of those groups. Um, they kind of discontinued them all. And, you know, there were supposedly lifetime access to these groups, but yeah, again, don't have them anymore. But is what it is. Um, so yeah, that was my experience, and um, luckily it didn't put us in out of business. But I think had we not have had this one bigger client kind of giving us the cash flow we needed, I think we would have, that could have easily put us out. That kind of money is enough money to put people out of business. And um, I think he knew, the sales guy knew that it was our last $10,000. Like that was all we had in the bank and he still sold us. Um, and that to me doesn't sit too particularly well with me personally. Um, but then again, you know, my fault for buying it, I guess. Um, so let's get into some of the things that I've done since then that like, I've invested in. Like the, the main thing, and these are like way cheaper things, right? So there's a few things I've kind of categorized in that I've done. And I'm going to categorize it into like coaching, mentorship, and learning resources. So kind of three categories, I suppose, that I've I've invested in. And like mentorship's not necessarily an investment. Coaching is an investment, okay? Now, one of the things we did do uh, was coaching. And we hired Eric Sue who is, for those of you who don't know, he's co-host of the Marketing School podcast with Neil Patel. He has quite a successful agency, mostly, I think, SEO um, agency or maybe search agency in the States and the US. Um, they work with a lot of big brands. And um, we did, we spent $1,000 a month We're on him. 
for one one on one coaching call per month. And I think we did that for maybe three to six months, something in that region. That was one of the best things we ever did because we already at that point then where I feel like we had the skills, we knew what we had to do, but we just didn't know where, in what direction to apply them. Like we could have run in this direction. We could have run in this direction. We could have run in this direction. I remember one specific time I sat down with him and I was sort of saying, you know, we are thinking of launching like a done with you side of the agency, which means we're going to stop servicing clients, doing everything for them. We're going to, um, develop a like a course or I don't know c- paid community or something and lower ticket and we're gonna sell that instead or we're gonna sell that's gonna help us scale the business I think at this point we were doing maybe 15 to 20 grand a month and he said don't do that he said you should just do one product until you hit seven figures in revenue he said just focus on what you're doing and figure out how you can get it to seven figures in revenue annually and that's what we did and that was probably the best piece of advice, one of the best pieces of advice that we ever got. Um, it was huge, and we focused, doubled down the business, and uh, and we grew the business like a lot, like quite quickly. That after that point, um, so that was worth the money, and that was probably three to five thousand dollars. But I felt like three to five hours of coaching. But because you're speaking to somebody who's been there, done that in a different industry, like in a different sector, but an agency, marketing agency. He knew the direction we could go in. You give him the tools. You say, this, th- these are the facts. Here's where we're at. Here's what we've tested. What should we do next? And based on these people like this, based on their intuition, they just n- usually know what direction you should go in next. So that, that was one of the best things we ever did. And I think arguably if we'd have taken that $10,000 and we'd have gone and found somebody who was five years ahead, 10 years ahead and said, hey, uh, can we pay you $500 an hour, $1,000 an hour to um, help us out, um, give us some advice? They would probably say yes. Um, if not, they would have said, Hey, like, I appreciate the offer, but I'll help you for free by, by even offering that. Like often people kind of come back to you and say, Hey, look, appreciate the offer. The fact that you've offered that to me is, is a good sign and they'll help you for free often. But anyway, that was the, probably one of the best things we ever did. Um, other things we've spent money on courses and, and, you know, knowledge is, is developing the skill set. Like I don't, I'm not talking about agency courses and, guru courses and i'm talking about developing the skills that we, we were facebook ads buyers that's what we did um and like we spent i spent hundred dollars here two hundred dollars here you know fifty dollars here on courses on you know paid communities on all sorts of things um to develop my skills around facebook ad buying and i became pretty good at it um a lot of people forget that like if you're in web design a lot of people focusing so much on like developing their you know, reading books around agency growth and agency sales and watching YouTube videos about how to close clients and all that stuff's important. But if you don't constantly refine and get really, really good at your core skill set, your core service, you're never going to succeed. So that's one thing that I did was constantly buy courses and develop my skill set. And there's lots of these cool, there's lots of amazing courses out there for like $100 to $300. And I think, whenever I see a creator who's selling a course for like $100 to $200 and I get an immense amount of value from the YouTube channel, I'm always inclined to buy that course because it's probably going to be very good and you can't really complain for a hundred to two hundred dollars. My my biggest concern is people selling like these thousands and thousands of dollars, like get rich quick essentially um courses. I don't like that personally. And I would steer away from those kinds of courses because they're gonna sell you a cookie cutter uh template, something that they want to be able to copy and paste. Uh they want you to so so called copy and paste into your business. And actually that's what I found after doing the uh academy the facebook ads academy was that i just started seeing the same ads from loads of agencies you think about 700 to a thousand people going through a program they're all going to be running the same ads because they're, they're literally giving you copy and paste templates and it just doesn't after a while it gets completely saturated there's no creativity anymore and um that's what i didn't like so i don't recommend that now other things I spent money on was uh, Udemy courses. Um, like they're like fifteen dollars usually. Um, you can get them for sometimes get them for twenty, thirty dollars. Sometimes they're on offer, and you can get discounts and there's coupon codes flying around and all the basic stuff. Like if you want to learn how to do keyword rankings, if you want to learn how to do, um, you know, how to build a simple WordPress blog, if you want to learn how to run basic Facebook ads, all the basic stuff can be learned in a Udemy course. That I must have paid for ten to twenty different Udemy courses around different topics. 
and um, there's some excellent ones in there. And you just go in there, you rank the reviews, uh, you look at the you know the amount of people that have taken it, and, if, and and also you look at when the course was released. Some of them are released like five years ago, probably outdated, but you can find most recent ones, 2022, 2023, 2024, um, where they're probably more relevant and buy them. And really, like if you don't get loads of value from them, it's not a waste of money, it's $15. If you get one thing from them, then that's a win. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about, which is the be- best best thing I ever did, and something a lot of you guys might not know what it what it is or what it means. None of this is advice. This is just me explaining my experience and what we did. We actually found two guys. I won't mention who they are, um, but we had two guys who ran a successful agency, and um, I featured them on the channel before. Um, and I got to know them really well, and they became a mentor you know, kind of like I was asking for tips and help and applying what they told me, which is the number one important thing is apply what they tell you to do. If you don't apply it, they're never going to give you advice again. Um, I was applying everything they were telling me to do and and then we ended up getting to know them really well and they actually just said, look, uh, we'd love to be involved in the business. We did, you know, we'd love to be non-executive shareholders, which uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, it essentially means they take a small piece of equity, um, usually... Um, not for money, especially in the early stages. Usually it's more for like the advice and mentorship um, and, you know, very small share and uh, they become non, what was like, you know, non-executive, you know, shareholders basically. And we did that. And um, that year that we did that, we grew massively. Like they were, we'd meet them regularly. We'd go down to where they lived and we'd stay the night and we'd go out for drinks and we'd, you know, get advice. And I had them on WhatsApp. Any quick questions I had or concerns, I quickly WhatsApped them the direction that business was good. They gave us some targets, KPIs, and we grew the business really quickly in that year. That's probably the best thing we ever did. Um, and a lot of you might not know that. Rather than going and paying for mentorship, you can go to people and say, hey, are you interested in being becoming a non-exec, uh, a shareholder, um, and giving me a little bit of help growing this business and I'll give you in exchange for a percentage of the business, this business. If they back themselves as operators, mentors, and they think they can help you do it, they believe in you, it makes sense for them to do that. Um, and that's one of the best things we ever did. Um, but that's it for today's video. I just want to kind of share that story with you guys. Um, hopefully, te- you know, I don't know, may- hopefully um, for anybody out there thinking of spending that kind of money on a course, hopefully this is giving you some other options. Um and um subscribe to the channel if you haven't already Uh, i'm gonna be posting a lot more content um and uh i will see you guys in the next video cheers